Hello everybody, my name is Isaac, Isaac of the Wild, and welcome back to Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Last time we defeated Phantom King DDD, you can see him sleeping up there. Oh, well, that's, that's regular DDD, but you know, same thing, closer. And today we're going back to the, uh, to the isolated isles, Forgo Dreams, to take on Forgo Wastes. I believe that's what it's called. For once, I actually feel confident I remembered the name, because I've been forgetting the names left and right. Also, doesn't this look cool? How it sort of spins like that? It's kind of trippy. We've got Forgo Wasteland. I was close enough. Close enough. Alright. Here, we've got 49 pieces of Leon's soul to collect. Let's get right into it. All right, so starting straight off, we're actually going to go grab ourselves some drill ability because that would be really nice. Hello, thank you, sir. There we go, take care of him and get a piece of Leon's. So we're actually going to run to the left, to the left, to the left. Let's go right over here where we've got a little bit of sparkle and some tuna by the looks of it. So we're going to run into the middle. And what we're going to grab here is we've got a bunch of little diggy areas that we can grab. So what have we got there? We've got a bunch of coins that say... Oh, no. Okay. Let's not do that. That that would be bad. All right. We've, we've just got to wait a little bit. Just got to wait. There it is. There's the last one. Don't fall in the pink stuff. You lose your ability. We don't want that. All right. Now we're going to go... And get a piece of Leon's soul. If we go... Oh, okay. If we go over here to this spot. We've got some bad guys and just a few more things. We're just going to float over. He's going to try to jump us. But we're going to jump him. And we're going to continue onwards. So now, obviously, you can look around as much as you like. Just like we have before. And as you can see, that will be rewarded by some lovely food. Some, what was that, sushi or something? Alright, over here, we've got our lovely uh, sizzle it. And so what we can actually do is just go... Ah! Well, you know what? I am not actually mad. That, that could have been worse. Alright, so you want to make your way through here, dodging these things. Don't hit the Gordo. That would be bad. Um, and we're going to continue up. So we're going to go this way. Uh, but first, what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to go steal this bomb ability. Because what's coming up, I don't like using the drill ability for, because it's, you know, not it's not really a combat-based ability. We're going to run up here to some sparkle. Where we've got a lovely coin, and we've got ourselves a boss fight. So I'm actually going to use bomb ability. We're going to dodge these tornadoes because they're annoying. Uh, or we're going to lose our bomb ability because that's annoying too. Ah! Don't lose your bomb ability. I do not like Florina. Ah! Gee, Florina's just doing a number on us. What the heck? Alright, here we're going to just run away from Florina and her copy. I'm just going to run around, throw some more bombs at Florina, get her into her second stage. I'm just going to keep throwing bombs everywhere. And I'm going to run away before I get sucked in, because that won't be good. No one likes to get sucked into Florina's tornado. Oh, but will I? No, I won't. Alright, we're going to keep throwing bombs then. We're, of course, going to look out for Florina and her copy. As to, you know, not get destroyed. I'm going to throw more bombs and deflate Florina. And I actually want her ability, Storm Tornado. And, of course, you know, Leon Soul. That's important too. We're going to run over here. We've got some sand that we can actually uh, free up using the storm ability. And that gets us Leon's soul and some coins, which is, you know, very lovely. We'll 
take care of this guy. And we're going to run over here. Get rid of this. And fight some more bad guys. Now, as you can see, we have a scissor lift here. And it can keep going. But, well, no, it can't. So how do we make it keep going? Well, that's answered by running up here where the original Florina fight was in the, in the original sort of part of the game. Um, up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take care of all these guys, get rid of all the sand, and grab a piece of Leont. So with that, we're going to run up here. And we've got Dome Mount Kirby where we're just going to free a button, it seems. So what's in there? What's the button going to do? It's actually going to give us the rest of the track for Scissor Lift Kirby. So we're going to run down here now. Oh, no, we're not going to use that. We want the mouth lift. So we're going to move forward. We're going to look out for uh, these cannons, of course. And keep on moving. Here we're going to get right up to the edge and smash this. Which is going to give us Leon Soul. And we're going to have to pull everything now. Which is really helpful. So we're going to keep on moving. On to the next area. Alright. Now that we're here. What we're going to do is we're going to continue to use the storm ability. Just for now. And this will give us another piece of Leon Soul. We're just going to, you know, speed through here, grabbing what we can get. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run up here. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's fine. I wanted to lose the ability anyway, because I want to get Buzzsaw Cutter, uh, just so I can grab Leon's soul like this. Isn't that cool? I can just grab it like that. All right, hold on. I want to... All right, I want to take care of you. All right, let's get through here, grab some coins, and take another piece of Leon's soul. We're going to run past this guy because we cannot beat him right now. We're going to lose our buzzsaw ability and grab the hammer because the hammer is just superior. And, of course, we're going to take Water Balloon Mouth Kirby to beat this guy up. Because, you know, he sucks and he's rude and he's gross and he's purple. Um, no, there's nothing wrong with purple, of course. And, of course, we get to be healed and granted lots of uh, points. Moving up to the next area, I'm going to ignore this guy and go this way instead. And I'm just going to take him out. I'm going to take him out because these guys annoy me. And I'm going to come up here where we've got a little bit of a button. Which will lift up water mouth Kirby, the water pipe. Which is going to be very helpful. And also, how does that never run out? Where is that connected to? And why doesn't it flood this area? What's going on? Alright, so now we've got Water Balloon Mouth Kirby. We're actually going to use it to get another piece of Leon's soul. And we're going to use it to beat this guy. Something that we also want to do is we want to feed these flowers. These flowers are dying and they need nutrition. Oh, that one's already fed. Perfect. There's the last one over here. We want to feed these flowers and that will give us some more of Leon's soul. So we're going to lose our ability now. Just run forward. Oop. And continue onwards. Alright. Ha ha. Looks like we've got everything in this area. So just to check, we have uh, 16 out of 49. So we're just going to keep on moving. And to the next area. Here, I'm actually going to lose this ability in exchange for Space Ranger. Because Space Ranger is a quality ability that, there we go, uh, that will do us good with ranged attacks. So here, ow, there we go, take care of him. And we're going to do a big charged attack to take out this monster who's going to try to attack us from the Oh, we don't want that. That'd be bad. So we're going to come through here. And we're going to have to fight a few bad guys. But that's fine. They're too slow. We're, we're too good. So we're gonna actually going to take our mouthful, our vending mouth ability, which has a lot more soda cans than last time. Uh, and we're going to get a piece of Leon's soul. We're just going to continue on those. Take out these guys. So they're not a problem. We 
Uh, wait, what the heck? Why can't I shoot you? Right, there we go. We're gonna keep going, running through. We've got some more area over here. And we've got some invincibility candy, which we actually want to grab. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that and we're going to run. We're going to run. We're going to follow the enemies and we're going to run. We're going to run all the way over here and access this. Which is going to be our access to the next area. Uh, we're actually going to go grab the other soldo. You know, that's important. All right, we're going to make our way through here. And uh, we can use some of our invincibility to beat these guys. But, you know, it doesn't need to last all the way in here there now it's gone that's okay uh, we'll make our way through here uh, okay take care of you shoot you see so out the way got some coins and we're gonna keep going so of course we needed a little circle uh, to get through so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna come over here where we've got ourselves exactly what we're looking for which is ring mount code so that's going to bring us this way of course we've got this uh, another invincibility candy which we want to use to access this circle and it just helps us break through all those troops before so now that we've got this we're actually going to take it all the way over here we've got some more area over here that we want our invincibility to last slightly and that'd be cool Although it doesn't actually have to, we, we, we don't have to worry that much. Oh, and we've got some coins over here. Alright, now that that's sorted, we're actually going to ignore this guy and keep on moving. We're even going to ignore that guy for now, and we're going to run down here. Where, oh my gosh, hello. And we'll take care of this guy, grab some cake, because yum. And grab a piece of Leon's soul. Next up, before we continue onwards, we're going to take Cone Mouth Kirby. And teleport back upwards. Here, we're going to be on top of this guy. We're just going to get rid of him. We don't need him. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our invincibility Kirby again. And we're going to use it to access this lovely triangle, which is wanting us. And this is how we get access to even more of Leon's soul. We're just, this is just heaps of fun, you know? I just love it. We're going to use this to continue onwards. Can it, will it reach? It will reach! And we're going to make it into this area. We're going to grab Leon's soul. And now we've collected everything in this area. How awesome is that? Wait, was that not poisonous? I'm not going to try. I don't know what that was. Alright. We're going to continue onwards. And now, some more enemies to shoot. More enemies to shoot. We've got the sleep ability that we can take, but we're not going to worry about that. We don't need it. Um, we've got a toy over here, thanks to the sparkle. And now that's left is storage map code, which we have to slowly wait for him to fall because this takes so long to do. All right, there we go. And now we can continue on as we get rid of this guy. We don't need him. And we're going to continue to the next area now that we've got every piece of it. So, now, I'm actually going to lose this ability because instead, I want crystal in here, which will let me uh, explode this bomb and continue upwards. Now, it's going to be a bit, oh, on the coin, thank you. It's going to be a bit windy in, in spots up here, like right now. Uh, so, we're just going to be very careful. We're going to use our crystal to stick to the floor. And grab Leon's soul. And continue onwards up here. Oh, come on. There we go. We're going to do once again. We're going to blow up this block, block. And we're going to zoom through. Using Crystal Kirby. And what we're going to do now is we're going to block all the way down here. We are, where we have more of Leon's soul we want to grab we're gonna wait and continue up this ladder here ow all right we're gonna just ignore you then because you don't matter anymore. all right we're gonna come up here and as you can see 
we need to get access uh, to that button. However, there's a big rock in the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Scissor Lift, go over here, and we're going to get off up here and access that button. Now we can... Oop, 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 now, now we can access Scissor Lift again. There we go. No. There we go. Goodness me. And we're going to access Leon's soul. And we have some cake as well. Show for it. So we can go this way. Oh, no. no. Gonna let him shrink again. And grab some more of Leon's soul. Coming down here. We want to blow up this. So that we can continue up here. We're gonna grab some more of Leon's soul. And I'm going to get to the side. As this crushes the land down here. We're going to come up here now. Hit a bomb. Come this way. Up around. Hey! That was rude of you. And go up here. Now, instead of going up the ladder, we're actually going to go towards the sparkle. Up. Oh, if it will let me. There we go. And we'll be able to access the last of Leon's soul in this area. It's a little bit hidden, so it is missable. Alright, continuing onwards, we're going to get rid of this guy. I'm going to run over here. There's this little bomb block. Which will give us access to a rare gem. Which is what we are needing for later. Alright. Continuing onward, we're going to actually abandon our Crystal Kirby ability and continue onwards. As you can see, we now have access to Fire Kirby in this very dark area. And so what we're going to use is we're going to use it to light our way. Now this honestly is probably one of the coolest parts of this entire, like, Forgo Isles. This is 100% my favorite part because it just looks so cool. It gives me adventure vibes. So we're going to light all these lanterns. Take out this guy, of course. And the lens are going to show us the way where the spikes are. Because, of course, we want to, you know, look out for spikes. So we're going to light every lens we come across. There's a few, what are they, dumplings or something? Um, there's some food. And, of course, continue to light the way. And we can grab ourselves another piece of Leon's soul. If we lose their ability, we have it again. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to light our way. Because this is dark, a dark abyss that we don't want to mess with. I'm going to wait here and just sort of light this one so we have both lit. And I'm going to jump onto this thing. And hi, buddy. Did I hurt you by accident or something? Take care of you. I'm going to jump onto this and get access to a little hidden area right here where we have more of Leon's soul. Oop. What's going on? There we go. That was strange. I'm going to jump over here. Oop. Take out this guy so he doesn't cause his trouble. Hit a lantern. We're going to jump over this. And ignore this guy. Before he causes us trouble. Now, we're actually going to take these guys out first. Just so they're not in the way. And, of course, you can see some fire here that we can't really stop right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to run across here. I'm going to light this lantern. I'm going to grab this piece of Leon's soul. I'm going to run past. And we have the fire ability if we want it. But what I'm interested in is ring mount Kirby. So we're actually going to follow this back. Of course, we can see where we're going because of the lantern. Get rid of these guys before they, you know, cause trouble. And if that took out the lantern. But, you know, that's okay. We don't need this one. We don't need to go back over there. Here, we're going to use uh, ring mount Kirby to sort of break these out of the way. And we're not going to spit it yet. We're instead going to make our way to the last of Leon's soul in this area. Alright. Now we're going to spit this out. And we're going to continue onwards. As we've got a warp star to ride. This is going to now take us to the boss area. Where the last of Leon's soul is of this entire light level. So, we of course have a few options for abilities. And I prefer the fire ability for this. So, um, have fun with that. Alright. This is probably, maybe, apart from... Oh, I don't know. This is very easy, in my opinion. 
uh, as long as you know what you're doing. So what I'm going to do the moment it starts is I'm just going to start setting my fire. I'm going to dodge out of the way because these explode. Oh, or I can get captured. This is a bad example of what to do. Alright. Every time he sort of checks his thing, I'm going to attack him with fire for the lingering damage. You're going to get into his stage really quickly, this second stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep attacking him. He's going to get into his rolling stage, so I'm going to wait and dodge out of the way. It's really just the same as normal. So, except this time, he doesn't crash. He uh, actually just go recovers immediately. So, you just got to dodge again. If you can get a small hit, that will be good. But otherwise, don't worry too much. Alright, I'm going to attack him now. I've got a little bit of lingering damage. He's going to go back to this. So, I'm going to get out of the way. And he's got to get his chain again. And I'm going to use this as my chance to attack him with more fire. And attack him with more fire. He's going to bring out the Kirby's again. And now he's into his third stage. Here, I'm just going to keep attacking with more fire. He's going to create a sandstorm, but I'm just going to use this to, you know, keep them on fire. He's going to go into his whirlwind mode, which I'm just going to dodge out of the way. Sort of stay away from for now. Alright, and then of course, he's going to throw his girlfriend, as he always does. Oh, and he hit me with it. But that's okay. Now I'm going to dodge out the way as he does a spin attack. And I'm going to run over. He's probably going to, yeah, get his girlfriend out again. But he's low enough health that I can just take him out. And it really, it's just a cycle of those attacks. So pretty easy in my opinion. Honestly, maybe, oh, I don't know. He's probably just as easy as Wispy Woods as, oh, well, sorry, as Tropic Woods uh, in Phantom Mode. So, easy peasy. Let's continue. Yeah! And we did it once again. We got all 49 pieces of Leon's soul in this area. There we go. Beautiful. Got all pieces. And we got another rare crystal, which is very helpful. And we got, oh, look at that. A big red twatooting. Pretty exciting. All right. And now we've unlocked the Forgo Zone. We've got 49 pieces, and that means we're going to be finishing off collecting his soul. As right down here, we've got 51 pieces to grab it. So, you know, 49, 51, it's 300. So that's all we've got left. Oh, that's all we've got left. But for now, we're going to return to town. Alright, down we go, we can lose our ability, and just like last time, because I haven't been doing this, like, this entire time, but I'm going to do it now, let's, let's play another awesome song, nah, oh come on, we need some good songs. This is good. Alright. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Next time, we're going to start the Forgo... What was it? The Forgo Lands? The Forgo... Gee, I have the worst memory. We're going to start the Lava World version of Forgo uh, Dreams. So, I will see you guys next time in the wild. Bye!